Today we're going to do some physical therapy exercises for better posture. You can do this as a follow along workout and you'll need a chair or a box, a mat and an optional cushion. We're going to start with some wall slides, so get yourselves into position. Sitting with your back to the wall and your tailbone as close as possible, slide your hands up to a full extension at the elbow and then slide your elbows down just below your shoulder level. Throughout the whole movement, you're trying to keep the back of your hands as close to the wall as possible. If you want to make it a little bit more comfortable, you can sit on your cushion and put a slight bend in your legs throughout the whole movement. Next, you're going to stay in the same position and do some overhead reaches. Starting with your arms shoulder width apart and your elbows locked, reach your arms overhead, getting the back of your hands as close to the wall as possible. Try and keep your tailbone in contact with the wall. Tuck your chin in slightly, almost giving yourself a double chin and keep the back of your head in contact with the wall also if possible. Make sure you're not bending the elbows or moving the arms further apart. Lie on your right side with your top left knee at a 90 degree angle in contact with a cushion or the floor. Maintaining that left knee in contact with the floor or cushion and your right bottom arm in contact with the floor. Turn over, look over towards the arm and go as far over as possible. You might even be able to get that hand to touch the floor and then come back over. It's really important to make sure that that knee doesn't come off the floor or cushion, otherwise you're just cheating the exercise. Turn onto your left side now with your right leg bent in contact with the cushion. I'm going to do the same again. Now we're going to do a shoulder and chest stretch. I want you to lie face down on the mat and put your right arm up at a 90 degree angle. So with that right arm with a 90 degree angle at the elbow, you're going to push off the left hand, creating a stretch down that right side of your chest or the front of your shoulder. You're also going to just bring your left leg up and over and use the weight of it to help add into the stretch. Switch to the other side now with your left arm at a 90 degree angle at the elbow, pushing off your right hand. You should be pressing your left shoulder down either in contact with the floor or as close as you can get and also looking away from the left arm that's stretching towards the right arm that's pushing off the floor helping with the rotation.
now you're gonna need the chair or box. You're gonna put your hands on the box and sit down into a lat stretch. Kneel on the cushion if you want for comfort. You're gonna maintain straight arms the whole time and you're gonna drop your chest down towards the floor. We're not looking to hard overarch your lower back, but we're also not looking to curve your tailbone under, creating a rounded back either. Next, we've got a similar position, but you're gonna have the points of your elbows on the box and your hands behind your head. You should be feeling a stretch in the triceps. Try and reach your fingertips as far down your back as you can, crossing one hand over the other. Feel free to switch hands every now and again, pushing the top hand down onto the bottom hand. Again, we're not looking to overarch the lower back, but we're also not looking to curve the back either. Now you're gonna lie face down on the mat and you're gonna do some overhead reaches. I think this is the most effective one in this routine for helping improve your lower back posture. What you need to do though, is you need to squeeze your glutes and draw the tension off your belly button on the floor so that you're not arching your lower back. You should be lifting the hands up using only your upper back muscles. So keep the forehead or the nose in contact with the mat, pull the hands up as far away from the floor as you can, reach overhead until your elbows lock out and then bring your elbows back down towards your sides. Try and keep that lower back as relaxed as possible. Next, you're gonna put your back foot on your chair or box and you're gonna kneel on your cushion, creating a hip flexor stretch. You should be engaging the glute on your back leg and tilting your pelvis under, keeping your ribs tucked down and in. Tight hip flexors can contribute to an overarch in your lower back, creating what we call lordosis. We're gonna try and avoid that by keeping the hip flexors nice and flexible. switch on to the other side, repeat in for another 40 second interval. Next, you're gonna lie onto your back and you're gonna pop up into a glute bridge, tucking the tailbone under as you rise up. Strengthening the glutes is a good way to combat any overarch in your lower back. So when we do this, we really wanna tuck the tailbone under, draw the ribs down and in, push off the heels, squeeze your glutes together and hold that contraction for another 20 seconds.
Thanks for joining me for that follow along. If you want to see improvement, I recommend doing this routine two to three times a week for at least four to six weeks. And then after that, you could just do it once a week or every now and again as a maintenance. If you enjoyed the video, please do take a second to support the channel, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and hopefully see you again soon for another video.